Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope we're all having a great day and we're all doing well. So a brand new Elite skin just released in Rainbow Six Siege and what I like to do when an Elite skin releases is buy it and show off all the items in it for people who are maybe considering buying it or just want to have a look what it looks like in game. This time it's the second Zofia Elite skin and the second crossover Elite skin that we've had in the game and now this is the Jill Valentine slash Stars Agent Elite skin for Zofia. Now this is, like I said, another crossover Elite skin. This is actually a crossover from the Resident Evil franchise and Zofia is meant to be Jill Valentine who is a member of the Raccoon City Police Force and this is from the fictional world of Resident Evil uh, you know Raccoon City obviously is from that game and stuff like that and this is an official crossover with Capcom and we are going to be getting another Resident Evil crossover I believe next season and it's theorized that it's going to be a Leon skin for Lion so very exciting if that does come to be um, another thing before we get into this review, sadly Elite Skin Customization did not come with this season. They are going to still be coming at some point in year 6. I'm hoping it's going to be next season at this point, but sadly we do not have any official date for when that is. I'm begging for next season because I love Elite Skin Customizations I cannot wait for them to come. But yes, yeah, sadly it did not come with the release of Operation Crimson Heist. But here we have the Elite Skin in game. I uh, show myself buying it and stuff like that. I'm showing off the charm, showing off all the weapon skins on all the guns, and I also show how the gadget skin looks as well. And I also run about on a T-Hunt, you know, just kind of be a bot like I am and miss my shots but show off the skin and stuff like that and uh, just show how people how it will look if you actually decide to buy it because I know elite skins are really not cheap things you know uh, not a lot of people just have a lot of money to just throw at video games and buy skins so if you're buying an elite skin and you kind of want to pick which one you want and it's kind of a hard decision if you know you can only afford one and you really want to get one but you don't know what one to get because there's so many that you want to get um, I like to make these videos to help people kind of make that decision so obviously um, they don't have to then buy it and be disappointed. I can just buy it and then show it off and see how people think about it. The animation is her spraying herself with the first aid spray which heals you in the game. And you can actually hear in the animation that there is uh, zombies coming at her and she has a massive laser sight on her pistol and she's fighting them off, heals herself up and wins the fight. So I'll let that animation play out without the audio right now and then we'll get back into the video. That is what our animation sounds like without any commentary or anything, just the raw audio. Very cool, I like the animation a lot. Obviously, like I was saying, once they do finally add Elite Skin Customization some point in this year, you'll be able to use this animation with any Zofia headgear, any Zofia uniform you want. You could even use this animation with the other Zofia Elite Skin. Now, people are probably going to be confused as to why there are two Zofia Elite Skins, and the reason is this is a crossover skin. It's the same reason why Ash got another Elite Skin as well for the Tomb Raider set. It's a crossover skin. Ubisoft need to make monies on these spawns. Monsters, they need to pick an operator that's very popular. That's why for the Tomb Raider Lara Croft set, they went with Ash, even though she already had an elite skin. They know Ash is a very popular operator and they knew they get a lot of sales with it, therefore pleasing the sponsor pleasing the crossover and opening the door to maybe more uh, stuff in the future with them so it's more of a marketing decision to give these crossover elite skins to very popular operators that's why for this jill valentine resident evil one we got given it on zofia because zofia is another insanely popular operator so it just makes sense that if they're trying to have a good crossover and they want to you know impress Capcom with the sales of this crossover elite skin they're going to pick an operator which people play a lot so therefore they're more likely to buy the elite skin for it. Now my personal opinion on this elite skin I like it a lot I'm not the biggest Resident Evil fan I have played a few of the games I am aware of Jill Valentine and Leon and stuff like that I'm aware of the characters I'm aware of the world and stuff like that just not a massive fan of it but I do think it's very cool and I am a sucker for crossover skins in video games in general I love them so much I really like the Tomb Raider Ash set and I really do like this set for Sophia probably like it more than her original set but the joy of customizations coming in the future means we can mix and match and you know you don't have to pick and choose a favorite over them if you have both of them you can mix and match them which is just sick weapon skins and gadget design are pretty simple but they match the world of resident evil they're not over the top they make sense they fit the aesthetic of resident evil and stuff like that so it's very true to the character and true to the world for that i know a lot of people are looking for big flashy legendary skins when it comes to this stuff and you may be disappointed when it comes to this 
but um, I personally don't mind the skins. I think it fits the Elite skin very well, and especially uh, the Gadget skin as well. And for the charm, there's nothing really much to say. It's just the chibi of the Elite skin. I don't really think anyone buys an Elite skin for the chibi. If you are, then, you know, um, hats off to you. I do use it in this video if you are interested in seeing it. So that was my review of Zofia's brand new Resident Evil Stars unit Elite skin. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope it did help. I showed off all the stuff that it comes with, the weapon skin, the animation, the Gadget skin, and the charm. I'm going to end this video here, so if you did enjoy, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this Elite skin and what other crossover Elite skins you'd like in the future. As always, massive shout out to my members, Abera, Ryzen, Zerb1234, Joshua Gentry, JJ Soy, Amanda Say, RSA Biggie, Reaper, Brian the Owl, Dennis Cole, Alonzo Martinez, and Zalier Gaming. Have an incredible rest of your day. I hope you guys all stay safe and I shall catch you on the next video. Have a great day. I love you all.